So for building the business case, um, you know, when we talk to customers, there's a, a couple different scenarios where we find that Azure may make sense for our customers. Um, so for some, you know, the existing infrastructure may be nearing end of life. Um, so customers who are, you know, evaluating the potential of a large capital outlay to replace servers and or storage, um, you know, looking to Azure to replace that, that type of buying process and move from a CapEx to an OpEx type model can often make a lot of sense. And, you know, nearing end of life for existing infrastructure is a great uh, point to have that conversation. Um, another use case that we see a lot of is when existing capacity is unable to make keep up with demand. Right? So maybe the infrastructure you have today isn't you know, old or needing to be replaced, but the needs of the business are starting to outgrow those services. Um, so maybe there's a business critical app um, you know, that's, that's consuming more resources than was initially planned for, and the customer is looking at additional hardware investments to support that and keep the rest of the services up and running. Um, you know, in that case, uh, you know, building a hybrid model where we extend the existing data center to Azure and potentially move that resource intensive application or some of the other underlying or um, companion applications that might be struggling for some of the resources because of that mission critical application. Um, you know, that can be a good example, a good, uh, you know, a good use case for, for Azure and where it can, can fit into the existing business without um, necessarily replacing the on-prem infrastructure. Um, the other use case that we see a lot of, of conversation around is when business needs grow around availability, redundancy, or scalability. Um, so again, maybe a, a line of business app has only had a single server um, supporting it to date. We need to, to look at HA uh, for that application, or we need to look at DR for that application, or again, much like that second scenario, the use of that business app is growing faster than what was anticipated by IT. Um, these can all be great examples of where Azure can be used to augment that existing on-prem infrastructure. Um, so we definitely have customers, you know, some look to move uh, the entire data center out to, to Azure, and that can make sense for some customers. You know, ultimately, a lot of customers will make that, that journey um, over an extended period of time. But Azure is not necessarily always a rip and replace solution. It can often be an extension or an augmentation of that existing on-prem infrastructure to provide some flexibility to how, TI, to how IT manages their services.